So I've made an interesting analogy to this video. Because the state had to form through ideology or something along those lines instead of just consolidation. That reminds me of socialist arguments. That the state no that capitalism dominates through consolidation and that these anti capitalists whether collectivists, progressivists, socialists, whatever desire to get rid of capitalism because it gains power through consolidation. But what they don't realize is that capitalists gain power through unnecessary power, bad power through ideology. So what I can get is that if it was all consolidation for the state, then the state would be something that you can't end. Because consolidations occur regularly. And if they don't, then it's very easy to have consolidation occur. Same thing with these anti-capitalists who diss capitalism. They say, oh, they only function through consolidation. Well, if that's the case, and socialism was a doomed cause from the start, that isn't the case. Socialism, whether Marxist, Stalinist, or progressivist, or collectivism, have existed and still exist. I have no desire for socialism as a capitalist. But these, both these ideologies have very similar theories for the most part. The way I see most anarchists fail to understand that it takes more than just consolidation to start a state. That it's important to think about what starts the state. See, Marx has explained that private property has occurred through consolidations. These consolidations have broken up from the initial socialist-esque societies. Nations, well, not nations. What I can get from that is that not only has this proven that Marxian theories are also a bit questionable, but it's also proven that you gotta understand how things originate. It's not just a domination game. There's the survival of the weakest that you have to take on par. So, so really, what do I mean by survival of the weakest? Well, think about the state as being the strongest. The state tries it, or even the overpowered capitalist tries to gain the best end goal as his ethics. For example, how will I increase the longevity of the state that I have power over? Well, I gotta find the end goal that makes that successful or how will my firm increase longevity there has to be the right end goal but the lower groups always look at the stronger groups means at this point I'm rambling where am I getting at weaker group always wins if the higher group is questionable. There's a state and this state is ruining markets with its consolidations that needs to stop. You gotta cut that shit loose. There's free market and uh, the capitalist isn't investing enough for the firm then they could cut that shit loose. It takes more than just consolidation to gain power. 
Because if that was the case, then this thing wouldn't be an endless cyclical issue. That's not the case. Imagine. Be a piece of shit. Now, one more point that I can look at. There's one more thing I think I need to say. That's why I hate making videos with music in the background that sucks. Kind of cleanses my brain. Well, whatever I needed to say, I'll cover that later. Alright.